Hi, this is Greg from Camnetics. Welcome to another unscripted demo of Gear Tech. Today we'll be doing a planetary set, a single stage. I know we want figure 9. Now these figures coincide with the figures in the machinery's handbook. We can change the number of teeth in the sun or the planet and the ring will automatically be adjusted because that's what we have selected here. If we want, we could say to uh, you know adjust the planet, and then the planet will update as we change. Now you'll see here that it's changing to a half of a tooth. Well, you can't have a half of a tooth, so make sure that those end up being even teeth on those. And let's just stay with these and uh, accept the form and um, the planet set shows up in gear tech. Now one of the crucial things that we'll need to deal with here is how those teeth are meeting together. Normally you want to have some addendum modification especially on the ring gear. Gear tech has a tool to help with that and that's the balance addendum modification and it opens up a special dialog box for the planet modes 9 through 12. So we can click on the auto adjust button and it attempts to make some adjustments to those. Now really the ring gear is a very strong gear and that can have a lot of addendum modification, negative addendum modification at that. So I'm going to enter in a, a minus 0.4 and you see the the planet and the sun have changed to to meet that um, negative four requirement on the ring gear but we can click the auto adjust button again and it'll change slightly now we can manually change those too we could put in a, a negative or i'm sorry a positive point three for the planet and we sun gear updates automatically. Now let's just accept those values and take a closer look at at, at the, um, the line of action between the, the planet and the ring gear. We have a nice line of action. The tooth thickness looks nice. So I'm, I'm happy with that. You know of course I don't really have any requirements here but from a visual standpoint it looks very nice. And let's look at the the planet to the sun also. So and that looks reasonable too. Now you probably want to have some backlash in there. Right now this is zero backlash. I would recommend backlash on the gear with the most number of teeth or the two gears. So I'm just gonna enter in now. Um, some backlash here. So that's in the tooth form. And I'll put all five thousandths on the <coughs> oops, I put a negative five thousand point five thousand for the sun and then I'll also put some in the ring. Another five thousandths. And let's see what that looks like. I'm happy with that. So let's save these files. Okay, now we can go to the CAD and create these models and the assembly.
And there's our assembly completed in SOLIDWORKS. Now we can grab hold of these gears and they, they're all made nicely together. And there we have it, a single stage planetary gear.